Hello, everyone. You've tuned into the Useless Potatoes podcast. I'll be your host for this session, Nico. I'm joined Clearly by Dan and Sailor. Brother. Holy shit. <clears throat> Apologies. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was sexy. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. to be more daddy. Oh, my That's God. That's unfortunate. I am so sorry. You good, Carl? Uh, <laughs> anyway, how have you both been doing today? <laughs> I've been doing pretty good. I put some keycaps on my keyboard. We're not going to talk about price because that's going to be a topic for another podcast. Otherwise, I've been splendid. Dan, you sexy beast, how are you doing today? Some asshole assaulted my nose tonight. What? Excuse me? <laughs> I was at work and some guy came in. And mind you, it's it's basically autumn in Maine now. Yeah, it gets a little chilly out here. You know, it's 55 degrees out right now. Not very uh, Not very warm. Right. So imagine my shock when some dude comes into my uh, workplace and there is sweat just dripping off of him. Oh, and gosh. I could smell him the minute he walked in. Oh, Lord. That and, good old gamer funk. Oh, my God. And he kept standing right next to me the whole time. And it's like, Jesus Christ. You smell like a fermented ass crack. <laughs> oh. <The> sweet, sweet. <laughs> Oh, what does that sweet, smell? Sweet what do you smell mean? Of, the sweet smell of butt ale. Let's go. Oh my god. Now that was a lager at the very least, definitely. <laughs> that was a stout. That was a stout. That was a stout, was a stout, that was a stout butthole right there. <laughs> yeah, no thank you. <laughs> I do not recommend. Uh, I don't I don't see myself uh, ever wanting to smell that, uh, personally. Yeah. Well, uh... <laughs> Yeah. If that has uh, any uh, implication on this podcast, we talk about everything and anything. Uh, like that kid you had to put up with when you were younger, because your parents and theirs were just, you know, best friends. The kid just so happened to be the apostle for the great flying spaghetti monster. Anyway, uh, the topic for this session pertains oh, to that one person in your friend group that nobody likes. What's up? I don't like I don't like that Nico knows my, my friend Chris from childhood, apparently, based on that description. Carry on. Are you know Wait, Chris, he was the too? Apostle for the the flying spaghetti monster? Oh, Chris, yeah, Chris, uh, he's a cunt. Oh. Wow. Well. Oh, wow. <laughs> Turns out this flying spaghetti monster needs to get better apostles. Today I learned. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, anyway, um... Yeah. Uh, no, Dan. Uh, we're not gonna be talking about ourselves. Unless we want to drag this session way past its usual run time. And, uh, on that note, uh... Hey Dan, uh, you want to get us started? Why, okay, but like, why it gotta be me though? I'm. I mean, you went last last week. I felt bad about that, so. Oh, you okay. yeah, you're the opening act now. Yeah. All right. So, subject. For those who kind of missed it, yeah. If the title don't make it obvious, this is uh, we're gonna be talking about that one friend that nobody likes, and like, so just off the top of your head, out of um, out of all your friend circles, how many times would you guys say that you've had like, you know? There's been one person that none of you actually liked, but for some reason they just don't fuck off. There's I've got been about a few. five, <laughs> like two or three, because the like the main friend group I had growing up, we were pretty good about weeding those people out. Because if you ended up surviving after a month, you were like part of the friend group, and we genuinely liked you. Fair, fair. See, that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. I um, in college, where a lot of my stories come from. I uh, I discovered in college that um, I was, like, the youngest person in my friend circle, aside from, like, one person. And it's really unfortunate that I discovered... Uh, I wouldn't say I was like, oh, I was so mature compared to all those people, because, you know, I would never be that arrogant. It's more that I was surrounded by, like, these fucking five-year-olds who happened to also be 20. Hmm. Uh, man-children. Oh, my God. We love them. And the worst one, the worst one, hands down, had to be a guy. We're going to call him... Oh, crap. The problem is, is that I've used the fake name I'd like to use for him for somebody else. So I got to think of uh, uh, Keebler. We're going to call him Keebler because it's actually kind of close to his name. Keebler. <laughs> All right. Keebler. Yeah. <laughs> Where else are assholes, man? This proves it. Oh, yeah. So Keebler here. When I was in college, in our friend circle, we had a guy named Keebler. And this guy was present for everything we did. You were going to do D&D? Keebler was there. You were going to go watch a movie? Keebler was there. You were having a housewarming because one of your friends got an apartment? Keebler was there. You were trying to have a secret orgy? Keebler was there. 
Probably in the corner, holding the drink tray. You know, where he belongs. So he was glitter. So oh my glitter. god, he just couldn't get them off. No, he just, just impossible to ditch this guy. I'm everywhere and anywhere. Especially <laughs> the places you don't want him to be. So, <clears throat> yeah. So, Keebler, the worst thing about Keebler, the hands-down worst thing he ever did to me, or, like, by proxy or directly, was uh, my wife, Danielle. Um, Danielle is uh, not a huggy kind of person. I'm not either, so it's perfect. And the day that she went to go meet my friend circle for D&D, uh, Keebler was a very touchy-feely kind of person, to the point uh -oh. where he actually had been directly spoken to by the... My wife is glaring at me. <laughs> uh, to the point where he'd actually been directly spoken to by the administration of the college, because... Like, there was some girl walking around minding her own business, and because he had met her once, he thought that meant it was okay for him to run up behind her and bear hug her from behind without warning. Ooh. Oh, no. Definitely no. Absolutely yeah, And not. Keebler was, like, 6'4", and probably weighed about, like, 280 pounds. Also, That's didn't have a beard, mind. just had a mustache. And he oh. had he had those eyes where, like, there's no gap between the color of your eyes and the pupil it's just solid pupil you know what i mean those yeah. beady just unthinking unfeeling eyes bit of a little one's a little lazier <laughs> than the other one constantly has that look like he just accidentally bit into a shit sandwich and he doesn't know how to handle the fact that he might have enjoyed it this is this is a face in my head i need drawn for some reason oh my it needs god to be a channel emote oh my god so keebler seeing my lovely wife walk into the room gets up and tries to go hug her immediately and i get between them and i just say hey no she is not about that please don't do that please respect her boundaries and he looks at us and goes oh she doesn't like when people try to hug her and i'm like no i'm gonna do it anyway and starts trying to push past me to get to her and not like jokingly, he is trying to go and grab my like my girlfriend at the time, who you know would that's become a, my wife. That's a fist fight. Like that's a yeah, fist he needs fight. boundaries anyway. Yeah, that's that's grounds for a knee to the nuts. You know, um, Keebler would go on to have several accusations from a few different people of, of uh, less than appropriate behavior when others weren't around, typically when it involved alcohol. Oh, yeah, oh, garbage oh, human being. Garbage that guy, human that being. Guy. Yeah, and just, oh my god. He thought he could sing. He couldn't sing. He genuinely thought he was the greatest singer of all time. Could not sing. Just awful. Just terrible at it. So Lord. Frank Sinatra without the charm. And the voice. Sure. <laughs> mm. We'll call him Sinatra. There we yeah. go. And yeah, so the finale for this kind of guy, uh, for this guy, and this is one of my favorite stories, is um, he uh, got mad because I was dungeon mastering for our campaign, and he felt like I was excluding him because the thing is, is that he would just stare at his phone the entire time we were playing D and D. Just that's all he would do. That was just. That was what he did. He pl he stared at his phone while we played D&D. &D. And, like, I, I don't know if you know this or not. That's a shitty way to be, you know? No one likes when you do that. Yeah. And so because he was staring at his phone, I wouldn't give him much screen time because I would mention his name two or three times and he wouldn't notice. So I would just be like, all right, fuck it. And I would move on to the next person. So finally, he comes into our game and he does something really stupid. Because he wasn't paying attention. And I look at him and I just go, Keepler, are you are you are you actually brain dead? Are you genuinely brain dead? That's not what I said. What I said was actually much harsher and not something I'd repeat on Twitch. But Ah Yeah, no. There's a lot of things you shouldn't say on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, no, like I did not hold back on this man. I was furious. So the next day. He pulls me aside to have a serious talk with me because I hurt his feelings, which I don't care. And, like, so he starts laying out in front of me, like, you know, just, it really hurt my feelings when you spoke to me that way. And I was like, Keebler, I need you to understand something very important, my man. Oh, what's that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I... This, is, this, this is the weirdest, because you have, like, six foot five, like, 
Burt Reynolds mustache, slightly lazy eye, black eye, like pupils, trying to have like a heart to heart with Dan. Dan just stone cold. I don't, I don't give a shit. That's that's great. Good, <laughs> that's good for you. Do you want me to go hold your dick real quick? I don't. I'm not gonna. <laughs> hey, I, so I just let him know. Like, I'm sorry. Look, until you stop acting like a piece of shit, I don't care. And he goes fine. And then he stops and he goes. Is is Danielle ever gonna, you know, not hate me? And I just looked him in the eye <laughs> out loud and I go, No. <laughs> you fucking if, idiot. No. <laughs> if, if you have to ask that question, if you have to confirm, will so and so ever not hate me? The answer is no. Yeah, like the fact you have to ask that. If you're starting with not hate, you're at a bad starting point. You are things are not going the way you want them to. At all. No. <laughs> Just. <Jeez. laughs> no, absolutely never. Never going to like you. Like, I wasn't expecting shit. this end of the story. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think it was going to end. So that girl that I tried to forcefully hug, do you think she'll ever not hate me? <laughs> like, dude, Christ. social awareness, please. Yeah, no, that's not a thing. We don't we do not do that in this household. But yeah, that's, that's one of mine. But just like, seriously, like, I don't. I think, um, I think that's what pushes the line for a lot of people of like what makes a bad friend in the friend group or a bad person to have in the friend group is that person who doesn't understand boundaries. You know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's, that's, that's usually like pillar one. It's like the D and D pillars, except for how to be a bad person. It's just complete lack of boundaries and like social awareness being right up next to it. Right. Which this dude, which keepers seem to have in spades. So yeah. congrats. And it's rough because like, it's one thing if it's someone who, you know, like, Maybe they just struggle. They don't necessarily understand those boundaries. It's another one. It's someone who you have like explicitly laid out. I have this boundary. And their response is, fuck you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like once, once, like if people have issues with social cues, that's fine. But the, but the moment you say, hey, this is a social cue I need you to observe. I'm dead serious. This is not a joke. Do I need to put up a neon sign for this? And they go, ha ha, lol, no. And it's, that that's a fuck you right there. Yeah. I, uh, just, the fact that it was stated and it just completely ignored is a... Uh, I'm dropping a picture of him in our Discord, actually. Two of them. There's one of me and him. It's me in college. I'm sorry I look this way. He's the guy on the right. And then there's one of him by himself. Is it Dan Fro? It is Dan Fro. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, he looks exactly like I expected from the way you described him. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that kind of... That tracks, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'd want him hugging me either. No. No. He looks like he'd try and slip a finger in. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I kind of want Dan Fro to slip a finger in, but that's probably just me. <laughs> no, we love Dan Fro. <laughs> no. no, well, too bad. <laughs> no. no, okay. Let me clarify. No. Never mind. I'm not gonna no. clarify this conversation. No. no, my my wife will stab you. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I want Taylor's to girlfriend to probably stab him. <laughs> oh my god, this is unrelated. That's... I was in college, and some girl in my dorm was like, oh, man, I wish my boyfriend was in town today. And I was like, oh, why is that? And she goes, I could really go for a stabbing right now. Oh, Lord. And that was legitimately her euphemism for sex. And I was like, oh. So usually the euphemism is, like, a bit cuter and more playful than what you're doing, not worse No and concerning? She, no, she looked right at me and said, oh, I need a fucking stabbing. Man. Oh, Lord. Man, I'm really dry right now. I need a good manslaughter to get me going. I need some some nice <laughs> vehicular homicide right about now. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, I so that's, good... that was the uh, that was the cantankerous uh, compilation of the deeds of the corrosive Keebler, rated R, oh, <laughs> this Friday. Yes. Bro, that was adults only. Where do you mean rated R? I'm sorry. How many uh, how many eight year olds you got going into the R rated movies aside from the times I let them in? Okay, fair point. <laughs> fair point. Mommy, I went and saw Evil Dead today. Where's the chainsaw? My dad let me go see Jackass. That probably explains a lot, but he thought it was an autobiography written by you. 
It was actually some places. And I, ne I never got like held away from going to any R-rated movies. I was there for those scenes. Like, I, my mom would be like, "Oh, cover your eyes," and I'm just, <laughs> "But oh, mom, my. but mom, breasts." The hunk of Bengaloos. The hunk of Bengaloos, mother, <laughs> mother. The hunk of Bengaloos. I require them. <laughs> oh lord. But, but uh, yeah. This... <laughs> oh, anyways, Nico, what's <laughs> who's going next? Oh, great host. <laughs> I got it. Um. Going off from the whole super clinginess, um, I used to play a lot of Final Fantasy, and I would go around as, like, a oh. high-level character and, like, try and rope in some new players, try to get them, like, used to the game. Right, get that and... dank ERP going. Absolutely, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's It was, uh, like, three times total I was able to get somebody new and, like, help them along, get them excited to play. And one of these people uh, was my first online girlfriend um she's not the one that is really not liked but she's the one who introduced me to these people that's right you don't we... know her she goes to a different data center <laughs> exactly <laughs> um eh... it, it was one of those situations where i was like oh i i like this person a lot we had never said a word to each other but um her FC she ended up joining, which is basically a guild, uh, had two people in it uh, by the names of Darla and Shadowhound. Which one of those do you think is the least liked one out of the two names that I just said? Darla so, and like, Shadowhound. <laughs> I want to say Darla, just because for some reason, I, like, I just imagine an old southern woman that won't get out of your business for some reason. Oh yeah, like every time you're just trying to mind your own business, like you open up your curtains in the morning and you find her like trying to peek through the blinds, uh, not aware that you were like on your way to the window. Howdy morning. neighbor, how you doing? <laughs> like, just, you certainly just, wouldn't just be there. wrong. <laughs> uh, Shadowhound, I... Uh... I don't know. I, I when I think of Shadowhound, I picture like that teenage girl who role plays the person in leather, like just skulking in the corner, threatening to kill any player that gets more than like five feet close to them. Frankly, when I hear Shadowhound, I, I think of Keebler. <laughs> oh, that's uh, not good. No, oh, <laughs> no, no it's not. But <laughs> that's called foreshadowing. Uh, Shadowhound is actually uh, really nice, and I, I enjoyed hanging around him. But Darla, on the other hand, was his girlfriend. And she clung to him. She she would not leave his side. If we ran a dungeon with just him, she would get like really mad in their FC chat because she got left behind or something. And she made it very uncomfortable when it was like just me and her, or me and my girlfriend and her, because she would ask very invasive questions like, "Hmm, when was the last time you unga bungaed?" or um, like. She would ask my girlfriend her breast size or stuff like that. It was really oh. uncomfortable for everybody. So, like, how uh, hard but... can I choke you before you pass out? <laughs> That's Why not far off from a question she would ask. <laughs> oh God, no! This uh, is it was, it was, it was you... not an enjoyable time. Were you in Limsa? No, no. Uh, okay. This actually happened. Um, sea of Clouds. Uh, okay, that's weird. Now, never mind. Yeah, um, but <laughs> I... on top of that. She would very much overshare everything that was going on between her and her boyfriend. To the point, like, look, if I wanted to know your man's measurements, maybe I'd go ask him myself. Like, I, I don't, I don't <laughs> want to know what he's packing. I, I, need I, really to know, don't. I need to know length, diameter, and yeah. circumference. Like, like she, she went into details, like, talking about veins and shit, and I'm like, eh, mm, nah. I was about to ask, I'm like, nope. did, did she give a texture description? Like, he's got this one wart that just hits the right spot, <laughs> man. It's so good. It scratches my <laughs> yeast infections in all the right ways. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was really hard to get away from these two people, because they were just, like, really good friends with our FC leaders, and they just... Uh-oh. They, they are who helped my girlfriend get up to where she was. She she hadn't talked to them at that point, like, whenever she was actually working up to that. That kind of happened when I came along. I regret that. I wish that wasn't the case. But that may or may not have had to do with the reason she stopped playing. I wouldn't blame her. But, uh, frankly, um, going through dungeons and all you hear is, You're doing great, baby. Earn your reward for tonight. I... Ah, uh, no. <laughs> no. 
No. Oh. You hit level 80. It's time for that blowy. Oh, God. <laughs> this was back in Stormblood, so uh, 70, oh, actually. Level 70. Uh, oh, yes. so you, just, yes. you just hear a slurping sound on every level up. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, no. To top it off, like, when we were in voice chats, she would talk in moans. It was not uh, no. something I enjoyed. No. Oh this my just, gosh. Just, oh baby, tank gets, harder. Oh, this just gets worse the longer you talk. This, 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 this is just, I'm like, there's no way this can get any weirder. Oh, it's progressive. Oh, this is getting progressively weirder. At what point do we hit bottom with this person? That's right. <laughs> so none, none of us like Darla. She, no, nobody. But uh, once the next expansion came out, Shadowbringers, there's this character who is like big uh, cat lady. And name, 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 her, right her, now, name, right now. Her name is Dulia Chai. Oh. And wait. me and my girlfriend were like, ooh, Darla. Oh, I am much, oh, no. I, I Googled and I am much less excited for this. Carry yeah. On. She looks like the mom uh, from Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> oh, God, don't ruin Dula Chai for me, you asshole. Wait, I love Lord. her. She's. You love... Just because she's Lord does not mean she's bad. No, she's got the but... same face shape. It just okay, would have fair. been much better if I hadn't pictured Darla on that character, because that ruined that character for me, and I, I'm really sad about that. She's oh. such a good character. Oh, <sighs> God. We had a... Not not to, you know, steal away from Taylor taking the turn. Uh, we had a person in mm -hmm. my WoW guild who uh, just randomly started posting her nudes in the Discord server once, and that was... Uh that was uh that was a problem that was a that was a big problem because the server not only wasn't for that it also had a very strict like no nsfw policy and she just oh. waltzed right over that girl don't give that stuff away for free <laughs> she pole vault she pole vault exactly she pole vaulted that's what only fans are for dog I, honestly make, make, at least make, make money, money off of it come on but yeah, so she actually got kicked over that because she, I think she got warned twice about it and she just wouldn't stop for some reason. She was proud. Mm. She was, she was, yeah, I mean, she we was had proud of what she got and she had, wanted listen, to share. We had miners in that server, bro. <laughs> oh, she oh, should have been proud mm. somewhere else. Yeah, no, like that, this is not like a, oh, you, like, no, that, that like, that, that was not okay. Like, dude, like, there's kids here. I'm, I'm not used to the idea of miners playing MMOs still. It's, well, you gotta remember, it's not, a miner is someone place for isn't like an eight-year-old. Like these people were like fourteen, like 13. And fifteen, yeah. yeah, yeah, teenagers. But still, like I, I didn't, I didn't get super into MMOs until I was like seventeen to eighteen. So uh, it's just in my brain, I'm like, oh, all these people are gonna be like up to here, and my, I, I don't think about it half the time. But I'm, I have to walk on eggshells for that reason. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's I get funny um, as an officer. It's funny the uh, the boundaries thing I mentioned. This seems to be a theme. It really mm -hmm. oh oh I'm about, like my dude coming up is gonna be right it right right in line with that. So I think all of them are, actually are yeah all of them are boundary breakers when I look at it. Yeah, I'll take that back. BLM blues is he's not he's he was just annoying. Yeah, that seems to be like mm -hmm. the thing, isn't it though? Like that that one person in the group it always does seem to be one person who finds something that no one likes when you do this thing or they'll find a line that isn't supposed to be touched and they just they just go for dance it. over it and it's like god damn see i've just got straight up people who are like completely and utterly racist right or arrogant oh. to the point of like all right, all right but i'm waiting for the, i'm waiting for it. the part where that's like i'm waiting for the wrong part here come on oh um yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, just because they like NASCAR, Nick, doesn't like come on. The, this man was like he was homeschooled out in the country with like his grandma, so I I've uh, that's Southern that's state. Yeah. That's what racist means, right? It's like when you prefer NASCAR over Formula One. <laughs> I hate you, Dan. <laughs> what? It's it's just too God, cool. I've got so much to learn. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You prefer NASCAR or Formula One? I prefer Tokyo Drift. Screw you. Deja and vu. what's your favorite I've never race? been to this place before. <laughs> I'm Dr. Eats. <laughs> oh. oh, God. You'll have a favorite race? <laughs> this Drifting. is dangerous territory. We should move on. <laughs> yeah, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm that friend because both of you went, okay, let's move on. I went, ha-ha, Drifting.
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, does that mean it's my turn? Go for it. No, but I'm going to make you go anyways. Oh, okay. All right. So for the the point of this story, I'm calling this guy Jabusi because um he was a Jibusi he was a freak for Jibusi? Jesus. <laughs> Jibusi. Well, actually, I'm calling him Jabusi, but it, it's Jib- Jibusi. So Jibusi. it's but Jabusi. So Jabusi, um, he was he was a fellow band kid. So it was one of these where we couldn't we couldn't really kick him out of the group because we were required to be around him. And, oh, and that's that's already off to a terrible start because it's one thing when it's a person you don't like. It's another when it's mandatory that you spend time near this piece of crap. Yeah. So, and he would get, oddly enough, he was like Keebler. He would get invited to things and me and Lake would wonder, how the fuck did this guy show up? Who invited him? Who thought this was a good idea? So, Jabusi was really, really religious. I mean... Like Southern Baptist fanatical religions, oh, I like had a Facebook. Like a oh no. I wish, <laughs> I wish, <laughs> I wish he'd 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 been a far more likable person if he was Pastafarian. I'm just picturing uh, Stuart from Mad TV. If you know who that is, God, I'm old. Oh Lord, <laughs> saying Stuart made me picture Stuart Little, and I hate that. Oh well, it's I'm right actually now. actually that's pretty accurate. So we're calling him Stuart now. So okay. Stuart, um, he again he would. No matter what it was, he would bring up religion. Uh, he was kind of the prototypical Facebook hot take where oh, no. he would, he would, he, so Aww. a lot of the time he'd be like, oh, like, like if you, if you have this kind of sexuality, it's a sin. Like he would just say this. We're not talking about it. We're not even like remotely approaching the subject. We're just talking about my chemical romance. Like it's like, and then he immediately goes, Oh, I don't listen to them because there's a rumor. The lead singer had sex with fallout fallout boy. I'm like, why, why did you have to bring this up? But what the, the pinnacle of Jabusi was no Stuart. We're calling him Stuart. Stuart is we were at band camp and Stuart had gotten himself a girlfriend at band camp. And she was, she was like, she was like 10, like 10 out of 10 for that time. Alternative into fallout boy, dyed black hair, emo, very funny. Like I, the entirety of the band camp knew about her. Like every Malenia, guy depression, BPD and ecstasy. Exactly. <laughs> so all the band camp guys were like, were trying to hit her up. And somehow we do not know to this day how it fucking happened. Jabusi was the, was the winner. And they and they were dating. It was cute. He was smiling. He was happy. And around the third or fourth day, we were like, it, the band camp was taking us to go see Fast and Fast and the Fury or Fast and Furious, like Tokyo Drift. And Stuart was talking to his now girlfriend, and they were going back and forth, and and somehow like we were joking around, and it, and we came up like, oh, like. You know, like talking about like previous relationships, whatever. She goes, "Oh yeah, my pr- my pat my previous girlfriend," and all of us stop. All the guys on the bus stopped and went, "Previous girlfriend?" You say, uh, "Oh whoa, hmm? oh whoa." And she goes, oh, yeah, oh yeah, and she goes, "Oh yeah, I'm by." And all of the dudes are thinking, "Stuart, you fucking lucky bastard!" Like what? Like because right, typical like, team thought like. Yeah, like, very cause, typical. Cause like when you're that age, you're like, oh, that you're, that you're means you're too stupid to real. Yeah, you're too stupid to realize. Oh, that just means she's like she can go either way. She was. Yeah, no, that means I know, get she... to have all the wild orgies at 15, right? That's what this means. Yeah, right? that, yeah, that's that. what this means. That's what we were thinking. Like, oh my god, free ticket to three ways. Because like, like, you know, yeah, that's teenage... not how that. For those of you listening <laughs> at home, that... if you're uh, if you're a younger lad, that's not what that means. That's no, not how that, that works. <laughs> That just means they have more game than you, and you need to be you need to behave yourself. I mean, That's to what be that fair, means. that also means they have more chance. Like they might also just be striking out twice as often. I mean, that too. they they have twice the chance though. They can pull from either side. That is true. They can exactly. Get, they can get slapped by two genders. It's great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they can get title nine on both of the <laughs> with both of them. Uh, so, but we look over at Stuart, and he just looks distraught. He looks oh. like someone had punched him in oh, the tank. Oh, right. Wait He's... a minute. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> you said religious. And... Oh, no. <laughs> and so um, 
the next day I, I run into her in like the hallway. I was like, Oh, Hey, how are you and Stuart doing? You know, she's like, well, we broke up. And I went, what, why? He's like, he said he didn't approve of me being by. And I kind of looked at her and I said, he said, what now? Oh yeah. He just didn't really care for me being by. And she like, that's okay. I found someone else. And she like walks over and there's like, <laughs> there's like this cute girl. In it. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's kind of cute. All right, whatever. And I go over and I tell Lake was there. I tell like, yeah, Lake, they broke up. He's like, why? He's like, oh, he didn't like her being bi. And Lake just looks at me like, what? <laughs> and we, we we meet up with Stuart and ask him why he broke up. He's like, like she was bi and I can't really, like, I can't really be about that lifestyle. I'm like, oh, whatever. Okay, whatever. Some dude. part of me hopes that Stuart comes out as gay at the end of this. That man just fumbled surprised. the bag. <laughs> We're not so... Now here's where oh, we get to the I part about to boundaries. The end? <laughs> no, he's no, for as long as like from what I've been told last time two years ago, he was he was still straight. I think. All right, I listen. I just got my suspicions. It's, I'm just saying. The I, I, more we you all, di- we all do. The more I hear you do. dislike gay people, the more I imagine you probably enjoy cock. <laughs> that's the. That's I'm the, that's just the saying. <laughs> it, it happens. And there's nothing wrong yeah. with that, but you got you got to stop being an asshole to everyone else about it. <laughs> Exactly. Well, here comes the boundaries bit. So again, this was like the third day into band camp and there's like two days left. And so Stuart pivots over to someone from our school and starts hitting on her. And she, she doesn't really care for him because she goes to high, she went to school with him and we all know how he acted. And he's, he's flirting with her trying to like say like, Oh yeah, I'm religious too. Like, like we would be like a good Christian couple. And this poor girl was going like, no, I'm not interested. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. And then like on the last day of band camp, he were like the band camp dance is going to happen and all that. He comes to her. Oh, let me, let me, let me back that sentence up. He walks <laughs> no, up to carry her. on, carry on. <laughs> he walks up to her, walks up to her. He, he used his feet to move into the same, like within five feet of her he to engage entered in engagement conversation, range <laughs> to use his persuasion uh, skill check. It failed, by the way. Uh, and he just her. He, he he's not got, used to stealth check. Just, oh um, god, no, no. I use no, backstab. No, 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 oh, no, no. I use assassinate. I mean, oh no, he probably would have had more luck. <laughs> so he walks up to her, proceeds to tell her about his dream about them, that they. When the, if they got married, that they would be the most powerful couple in Christ, and they would lead a Christian army to help convert the nation. What the fuck am I listening Ex- to? Huh? I we we asked the girl about this. She went, "Yeah, that happened," and we're like, "Well, what?" Like he just like he just walked. She's like, "Yeah, he just walked up and told me about it," and we're like, <laughs> "And me being an idiot went, what did you say? Like, what did you say? Yes." And all my friends just turned and looked at me and went, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I, need I was answers. curious. It's an, it's listen, an interesting do I, offer. Do, listen, do I need to usurp you? Because, like, can he and I be the most powerful Christian couple? Come on. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I was like, listen, I need to care about my dynasty, all right? Oh my God. The Pastafarians need a new empire. Uh, he, they Honestly. said no. But he. But from then on now, he went crazy with, like, the, like, like Facebook groups uh constantly i i think her saying no made him progressively worse this that was his super villain arc and then from then on out he was just could not tolerate ah, it yes after all. careful consideration i've decided to become worse <laughs> yes because that's how that lies but yeah but that's jabusi uh, yeah, I, I can see why you don't much care for that person <laughs> no not at all mm, hard pass God, yeah that's so bad it's so bad. Just why though? But like, why you gotta be that way though? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't. And like, he was so like, unaware of like that that people weren't fans of that. He wasn't like no matter how many times people like got up and would leave the conversation. Like, he never went. Hmm, is it me? No, no, it's the heathens that are wrong. <laughs> exactly, it's the, it's the godless degenerates that we need to burn in holy fire. Well, all those, all those bi people. How dare they? Right. Man's really had they? a hot girlfriend and went bye bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, my wife in the chat. When I saw the friend that no one likes, I thought this was going to be a Dan sob story, but this is better. <laughs> <laughs> 
you're weird. <laughs> Nobody likes me. <laughs> All right. Top 10 reasons why we don't like Dan. Brought to you by Watch Mojo. <laughs> oh Number seven God. will leave you speechless. Let's see. <laughs> God. All right. Oh, my God. Uh, we had, um, in my friend's circle in college, we actually had a couple of these people. One of them, um, this person, I, I don't know to this day what was wrong with this person. Like, I, I'm sure it was a lot, but to this day, I still don't know. Uh, she, uh, for starters, she was very, very politically motivated. And for the sake of keeping the story pure, um, I'm not going to say in which way. That way it doesn't get bogged down in politics. But she was very much, listen, I have a fringe political ideology. And if you don't follow this, or if I say something about it, and I don't get, like, nothing but complete agreement with you, I will start keeping track of the things you say to me. Because I might have to go tell someone that I don't feel safe around you. Oh, they're oh. one of those. Oh my god, so oh. bad. Just so bad. And like, it was... What was really horrifying is, if you found her social media, um, in person she would call people children if they were squeamish about things. Like, she just... We would be having a perfectly normal conversation. And much like uh, Nico's friend, like, oh, what'd you do today, Dan? Oh, I studied for this test. You know, I did this. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, Terry, what'd you do? Oh, well, you know, uh, I had an exam and uh, I'm passing my degree pretty well. Oh, uh, Stacy, just random name. Stacy, what, uh, what's going on with you today? Well, I'm skipping algebra so I can get railed in the parking lot by my daddy. And, um, but we have to hurry it up because the father of my two children uh, might come by sometime uh, while this is happening. And I want to make sure that, like, he catches us leaving the car together. This is the same mm. person. Yes. <laughs> that's a... That's... I'm going to need, like, five minutes to unpack everything you just told in that story. I mean, my so, brain is still... <laughs> so she wants to be caught. Yes, but, like, just everything about her was attention. Like, everything she did for attention was for attention. If you found her social media page, um, the only three things that she followed were uh, Steven Universe, uh, porn, just porn, just endless, endless amounts of porn, and for some reason, uh, sexual cutting. Huh? Uh, squeeze me? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I want to know, but I kind of do at the same time. It's it's not ideal. I'm being told I'm quiet in the stream. I'll turn myself up a bit. Yeah, it's not ideal. Like, it it was not ideal to have to, like, be around this person because uh, she wasn't, like, it wasn't a case of where, you know, you'd meet her and she'd work her way up to this crap. No, you would meet her and then within five seconds, you would know, like, what she wanted some guy to do to her in vigorous detail. Like, like, within seconds. It was very uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, if you feel uncomfortable hanging out with someone and they just happen to be around all the time, that is a definite negative for me, sir. I know. Well, the problem was, was um, I was the only guy in the group who didn't like her. And I, I oh. found out as time went on, it's not that I was the only guy in the group that didn't like her. As it turns out, none of my friends liked her. None of them. Oh, oh uh, so it's that situation? No, no, no. It's not. Where... It's not the situation where they're all like, "Oh, I thought you were friends with her." No, I thought you were. No, 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 no. They just all hoped that the uh, the guy that would like be railing her in the car that they just wanted that to be them. They just thought there was a chance that oh. maybe it would be them. That was the, my second uh, guess. Was that? that yeah, I to... yeah. I think with the wrong head. <laughs> Yeah, and because, like, you know, we're all 19 years old or so, so, like, it's no one here is thinking rationally. I, I can honestly say, like, she was a pretty girl. It's just, like, when I hate you that much, it doesn't matter. You can be a solid 10. If I just loathe you as a person, it doesn't matter. I will just hate your face every time I see you. Like that trend on like TikTok and stuff where they're like, oh, she's a 10, but and it's something so completely awful. Like, oh, she's a 10, but she's a fucking psychopath. She's a 10, but she has a, a um, an exhibitionist get caught kink. 
She's a ten, but she's actually two midgets in a trench coat. That's right. Well, to be fair, it wasn't a <laughs> it wasn't like a kink thing. It was she wanted the dad of her two kids because she had two uh, two kids at the age of like eighteen or so. She wanted the dad of those kids to catch her. That's hmm. That's a little. That's oof. That 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 that's is a oof. big oof. Yeah. Ugh. Not... Follow up? Did she ever get her wish? I don't. Maybe. It's kind of like one of those. Like, oh my god! I I answer? don't know how I forgot that. My wife just mentioned in the chat. She's a ten, but assumes gifts are attempts at sex. I got everyone. Uh, in my friend's circle, everyone, a Christmas present one year because I thought it was the nice thing to do. Because in my family, Christmas was a huge holiday for us. I grew up dirt poor, right? And despite that fact, Christmas was the shit in my household. And so I got a buddy of mine a game for the Xbox One, like which had just come out at that time. Like that was a new console. Um, I had gotten one of my friends a new controller. I bought one of my friends a Steam gift card. And then for this girl, because I knew she had kids, I got her a gift card. I think it was for Toys R Us. Back when that was a thing. Because Christmas was coming up and she didn't have a job, but she had two daughters. So I was like, perfect. I'll get her this goddamn card. She can go give her kids Christmas. And then literally... The next day, because, like, she cried when I gave it to her. She's like, this is so sweet, thank you. I come to class, and, like, one of my friends tells me, yeah, she, uh... I like, yeah, chat, I like how this (laughs) can be put together as a Toys R Us card as a sex proposition. Yeah, no, she was she was telling everyone me getting a Toys R Us gift card for her was my polite way of saying I'll meet you in the parking lot in ten minutes. Please do not have anything on. Huh? <laughs> that's a uh, oh, that's a lot. Oh, oh Dan, you you got me you got me a, a gift for Christmas. Oh, you're coming on a little strong, buddy. Okay, but yeah, you you got me a Starbucks <laughs> gift card. Oh man, there went my pantaloons. I know, I know. Every time you talk to me, you call me a fucking moron and d- insult my family, my face, and everything about me. But this just tells me that deep down, this really has just been an attempt to get my attention. Oh man, with that, <laughs> dang. I, I seem to have lost my number. Can I get yours? <laughs> daddy to her presents and then sure. daddy to their mom. <laughs> Go meet the parents. Yeah, your daughter calls me daddy too. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> I can only imagine going and like meeting a like a girlfriend's parents and saying that. And that did not. There's a, there's a meme like that that's great. Um, it's a girl at dinner with uh, her family and her boyfriend, and it says, Daddy, can you pass me the mashed potatoes? The dad reaches for the mashed potatoes. The boyfriend reaches for the mashed potatoes. The uncle reaches for the mashed potatoes. No. Oh, Lord. No. 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 <laughs> an uncle Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. My, is... my I have an uncle named Jeffrey. Well, I had. He died, like, a couple years ago, but... <laughs> No, no. This is taking a very tragic turn. <laughs> oh my god. Just yeah, that again, you know what though? That's this just goes right back to the beginning of this, that boundaries thing. Like this was a person who did not understand boundaries. Oh, <laughs> she I don't think she could even spell the word. No. <laughs> no. She she had history class with me. She dropped out after 2 weeks. <laughs> well, was, okay. Well, I need, I need you to answer me this. Was she blonde? No. Okay, I, I don't know how to explain what happened then. Um, Next uh, question. <laughs> was, she in Homest- was she a fan of Homestuck? Okay, so I'm going to be real with you. I know the name Homestuck. I am I am uh, going to be 28 years old tomorrow. Oh, God damn it. I'm going to be 28 years old tomorrow, and uh, I don't actually know what that is. I only know of it because I have like two or three friends that were huge fans of it. And it's just kind of learned it by association. I'm 21. I got nothing. <laughs> Sounds fake. Don't, d- don't, don't. Sounds fake. Don't. It's like the Homestuck fan base is a whole thing. Let's not. I'm currently looking up what Homestuck is. No, don't please. Sweet summer child. Don't No. I don't know if this is the right thing. <laughs> uh, it's probably not. Anyways, move it along. 
Carrying on to the next one, yeah. Alright, Nico, whose turn is it? Is yours uh, or yours? I... Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm distracted by Homestuck. Um, so, once again, a lot of my friends are from, like, gaming online, all that jazz. I'm not very outwardly friendly in person, I would say, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Listen, uh, <laughs> I'm a nice guy, but if you meet me in person, fuck you. Don't talk to me. I mean, Taylor's <laughs> met me in person. Taylor, what do you yeah. think? Wave at me from across you're the street, chill. you filth. <laughs> uh, you chill, dude. Like, I don't, I don't like. Easy to hang out with. Like, I. Oh. Maybe yeah. I just see myself or, very poorly. Um. Ever or often, <laughs> an experience would do it again, except not in the uh, Amarillo Mall. That's kind of a, like, actually that was... place of stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> I had, um, had an Auntie Anne's, and that was the best place. That, that was the best thing in that moment. I agree. Your Auntie Anne is amazing. She's all right, I guess. That thing she does she with her go. tongue, like. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we <laughs> are we are literally pigs. Goddamn. Yeah. Christ. Oink, oink. Yeah, y'all so, want to see uh, something uh, before we continue? Y'all want to see something very aesthetically pleasing? Sure. Oh, absolutely, sure. There you go. I put it Hell in the chat. yeah. Nice. Hey. Uh, yeah, nice. Because those That's of you great. at home who can't see it, uh, the YouTube channel has three, six, nine subscribers right now. <laughs> it can only go up by implements of 100. It's forbidden for anything else. It's very important. I started doing Start shorts on the YouTube channel uh, starting last night, and uh, one of them got 2,000 views in a day, and uh, that was... Uh, yup. <laughs> like, which is great. But also the like to dislike ratio on it is not pleasant. The, people do not like this <laughs> video. I don't know what the fuck I did. Uh, to be fair, like there's a lot of really bad takes on YouTube Shorts, so you're probably getting like just associated with. Yeah, it's got or... it's got like an eighty. No, it's got seventy nine point five percent approval rating. If the like to dislike ratio is to be believed, Honest... <laughs> honestly, that is for Shorts. That is actually a pretty solid like to dislike ratio that's unfortunate All publicity is good publicity i i uh mm, mm, uh, 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 as someone who has followed some political streamers my friend that is uh that is not accurate also my pizza is ready that's good oh heck yeah i got Hell pizza yeah. too hey Hell look yeah. at that yeah, yeah copy me again and i will literally slice that seam on your scrotum open uh, well, I apologize because it's Domino's. It's not like ah, uh, fuck you in the oven or anything. <laughs> also, yeah, you like how specific that threat was. <laughs> I was very. It's not the first time you've been very specific with a threat towards me. That's good. Get used to it. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, you're gonna walk to your right. car alone later tonight. <laughs> uh, man, it sucks that I don't have a car. So ha! Ah, everyone ah. point and laugh at him. Uh, laugh at laugh. him, Taylor. I'm laugh a, at him. I'm a broke ass. Make bitch. fun of him because <laughs> he is different. Haha. <laughs> um, okay. Dan okay, plays go. Warhammer. Oh, ah. wait, supposed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Ah. <laughs> 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 now I'm uh. sad. Haha. <laughs> 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 how the turns it's, have tabled. It's all right. How the turnips yeah. have tabled. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm still that from now on. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. What yeah, I was go, going on. <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, uh, I played uh, Rainbow Six for a long time. Uh, very toxic community, super toxic. I but, disagree, like, but carry on. Like league toxic uh, or? I mean, like, oh no, 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 nothing, nothing can. Hey, 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 hey. You right? <laughs> Thank you. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> but, for a long time, I played it by myself. I had fun with it. I had all the voices off, so I didn't hear other people talking. Uh, the ones in my head, they were kind of going off, but that's okay. Um, but overall, I enjoyed playing it al alone most times. I played with Taylor a bit. It was fun. Yeah. We found a guy named Commander Buck. That was sick. But... I love Commander Buck. Commander <laughs> Buck is not part of this story. Yeah, after a <laughs> while, uh, we all stopped playing it and dropped it. And then this guy joined our friend group uh, by the name of Deer. He like he was like such Bambi a... or deer is in oh deer, Bambi. E -E red flag, e red flag. Actually, both are red flags. Carry on. I mean, on on Discord he goes by funny. If that has any other implications, um, I I don't care for that. <laughs> no, I don't either. He's not funny, first of all. But he is a very arrogant asshole. 
Like, he, he will drag the fun out of anything you're doing. We played Rainbow with him. I had no fun, but it's Rainbow. Cool. Uh, we played Brawlhalla for a little bit with him. No, no, not fun. Not fun at all. Uh, we, I think... Oh, gosh. What, what game did I play with him recently that was no fun? Every one of them. Minecraft. We played Minecraft with him. Minecraft's nice and chill. It's really easy to just space yourself away from him. Have a nice chill time but no he he finds a way to come to my base break all my stuff and say that i'm super far behind him and now i'm, I'm not going to be able to catch up to where he's at and this like modded minecraft run and i'm just okay cool thanks this man will sweat every <laughs> ruined minecraft every every single pore of his like skin sweating always Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where does he live? I think... Wait, he might live in that area actually. <laughs> oh no. No, no. He lives. He lives in uh, North Carolina. Never mind. It's, it's on that coast, right? Yeah. He probably deserves it. Um, but questions. Uh, as <laughs> as far as the big parts <laughs> that make me absolutely hate this guy, I was fine with him until we played Rainbow with him and. Uh, the whole time we would play, he would be in our team chat talking down to everyone. And one of these times, there was like a big bug in the game where I couldn't get over this little deployable shield we had put in the doorway. And it was very imperative that I got over that shield because I was out in the open. There were enemies on every single side of me. I just couldn't get over it. And instead of like, oh, shoot, you, had a f you found a bug? Dang, that sucks. He was telling me how awful I was at the game. Like, dang, you, if it were me in that position, I would have won that. You suck at this game, and I'm just sitting there rocking back and forth. Like, okay, cool. And then I just get quiet, because when I start getting annoyed, I... Exactly. Um, I know who you're talking about, too. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, oh I just... God. I'll shut up. I will shut up when I am not having a good time. That's rough. We, and... have, a, we have a guy like that... Um... It's not as bad as it used to be, but we have a guy like that in uh, one of the League of Legends groups I play in. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. It's it's not as bad as it used to be, but I think it's because everyone collectively has just told him to stop being a cunt, so it's gotten better, but... Does he ever jump on someone who, like, is already quiet, and, like, you know they're annoyed? No, because he jumps he's, on them further. Cause he's bad at the game, so he can't do that. <laughs> well, I mean, Deer's bad at the game, too. and uh, Oh, that's rough. Yeah, but he, he likes to say he's really good at the game. And uh, that instance when I, like, completely shut up and everything, I was, I was all right. Listen, I was cool. Listen, I am... I wasn't thinking about it. I am, uh... Listen, I am so good at this game. Specifically the part where you have to click those buttons, the ones where uh, you can either oh, start man. a new game or change the settings. I'm really good at that part. The rest Me of it, I'm, the rest of it I'm shit at, but uh, the main menu, I got you covered, G, all right? Shut up Plat and just Plat listen to me cuz I can tell you everything about that menu. I platinum the main menu. I platinum the main menu. <laughs> oh my gosh, am I am I in a call with deer right now? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So here's the thing. Uh, so a little little, little add-on. Uh, I was in a call with Nico when Deer showed up, and we were playing. He had never met me. This was the first time we had ever been in a call together, and he he dropped some like hard slurs with me in the call. I'm like, oh my god, how do you like are, what what? Hey, you're, you're, okay, so you're talking about a different person who is also oh. an asshole. Uh, you're talking oh. about Carl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. I thought, yeah, I was in, I thought I'm, I'm not going to hide their names. I, I don't like these people. <laughs> I, you right. You right. <laughs> so, I don't mind. so Carl, this dude, dude named Carl, he, he I was like, oh boy, he brought out the spicy language. My buddy AJ like, in the chat, I'm going to steal, I bet your plat at the main menu for the next time I'm flaming someone in League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to oh, God, man. if I come back to League and I see that in my chat, I'm gonna know it's you. AJ, if uh, oh, if I'm not, I don't know if Ricky is watching the stream. AJ, I'm not going to tell Ricky about this. I, you go ahead and surprise that that wonderful person with that the next <laughs> time we all play together. <laughs> <laughs> all right, my bad. I got I got confused. All right, sorry. Yeah, Deer, Deer's the one that'll like get on you, even if you like you're quiet, shut up, minding your own business. He will jump on you, call you bad. Like, 
oh, you're quiet because I'm right, all that jazz. Not fun. I don't. I've, I've played with people like he, that, and it's, it's like, even it made murders the fun. Even made Stardew Valley not fun. How, how like, do you make Stardew how Valley you not Stardew fun? Valley? <laughs> <laughs> that's just how wow. awful this man is. I that's like, hate that's, him. That's future dictator material right there. Like, if you can make Stardew Valley not fun for people, you're yeah, like a, anytime, a future. Anytime I see him in the call, I I just avoid it. I think actually recently, uh, our friend group actually came out and was like, "Hey, look, we hate you." And he just up and like blocked everybody and left. Good. Like I, Good. I kind of felt bad, but another part of me is like, eh, "No, he, he had it coming. It. He had it coming." Like I, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty nice individual online. Uh, I don't have such a good outlook on myself in person, but apparently that uh, is just my self-esteem saying, "Hey, you suck." Yeah, it very much. Taylor, throw Nico You're a pity fuck. Oh, yes, uh, please. I mean, I'll do, I can, <laughs> I, I never mind. Never mind. Too into it. Too into it. Back up. <laughs> we, can, we can we can negotiate an emotional support handy. All right. <laughs> That's just called a bro job, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to be homosexual with your boys. Exactly. That's right. It's one of my favorite jokes from uh, the older days of Jacksepticeye. I love you, no homo. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're here. <laughs> There's a video. I mean... um, it's uh, from some girl on Omegle or Chat Roulette, which, mind you, I, she looks like she's 14 or 15. She's not very old. And uh, that's, this is off to a terrible start. And uh, she gets to uh, her next chatter, and it's Kermit the Frog. And, oh uh, god and um she's like oh my god Kermit, i love you and he's like oh yeah it's great i love you too hey i got something to show you and then he lifts up a cucumber from underneath the counter where he is so it looks like his green dick and she goes oh why well you said you loved me so yeah but not your will eh <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember seeing that video and I I hate it. <laughs> but not your willy. I guess I gotta do some research. I guess not your willy. <laughs> I got. I'll send that to you, Taylor. It's great. You send it in the the podcast uh, Discord. I want to watch it again too. <laughs> Look, I outwardly said I hate it, but that doesn't mean I don't want to watch it again. Uh, wait, it's part of a longer video. <laughs> It's part of yeah, the longer the... video. <laughs> no. <laughs> me, no! me and this video go uh, go like an unusual League of Legends player. I hate the game, but play it again. Sure. Oh my god. I uh, I'll, I'll, I'm dropping the link in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, I I didn't know this was part of a series. I thought this was like a one and done. Oh my god. I have. I have an hour of content to watch when we're done here. Oh, dear oh, lord. No, oh, oh, yeah, no. a lot of people actually started copying that, too. Not your willy. Do you ever, uh, do you guys <laughs> ever actually, uh, Did you ever actually use a chat roulette or a Maggle? Yes. A little bit. <laughs> I had, uh... Lance uses it a lot. Uh, I had a person I knew... Oh, this, this fits in my friend circle who would go to Omegle and chat roulette and would try to get people to do uh, erotic role play. <laughs> and it was the most uncomfortable thing because one of my friends who just hated this guy was like, hey, Dan. And I was like, y yeah. No. No. Get on chat roulette. And I was like, no and he was like do it get on it i'll get on omegle we'll live stream to each other we have to find him <laughs> and we did and oh god was it uncomfortable this to be fair we scared the shit out of this poor guy this was not cool of us to be honest with you this was not cool because <laughs> he started talking and like we were like kind of messing with him and then one of us goes we know where you are because we knew oh. his address, so we started writing in the chat, like, his address, his name, everything. Oh. <laughs> it just terrified the fuck out of him. So he left the, the chat, and then cycling through, when we hopped back in, we bumped back into him, 
And, like, I think it was... Oh, God. I don't remember which one of my friends it was, but they wrote back in all caps, Don't you dare leave again. <laughs> oh, no. That was so bad. Oh, my God. So, like, holy shit. As far as this whole chat roulette thing, have y'all ever heard of Steve Cardinal? No. No. <laughs> Google. <Hold on. laughs> no, I got it. I'm sending it in the podcast Discord. Wait. No, I know this guy. Yeah, he does the songs. The ones like where he's like lip syncing and dancing to... Yeah, no, I know who that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I, I, I've seen some of his videos. Yeah, I remember when they were still was. coming out like nine years ago when he was releasing them. Oh, man. It was, it was certainly something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember him now. Yeah. I, uh... I remember watching uh, him do the uh, doing Peacock by Katy Perry, and uh, <laughs> while he's in the middle of like thrusting in lingerie, uh, one of the people he hops into is just some guy who looks like Tyler One, just looking horrified and disgusted. <laughs> I wanna see your peacock, cock, cock, your peacock, cock. Oh my god! So... He also did songs in real life, which is like really cringe right now, but I used to love that stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd catch oh, a Lord. grenade for you. I don't want you to catch a grenade for me. I just want you to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> the guy uh, wearing, like, the, the black and yellow stuff, I think, was my favorite in that whole series. Man. Alright, well, guys, uh, it is 9 o'clock. We have been going for about an hour now. Uh, does anyone have anything they want to help us wrap up with? These uh, nuts. Alright, uh, bring oh them over. God. I will twist and pull them up like a bow. Oh? Don't stop until they're blue. Wait, I need this recorded. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? I don't think I... Oh, oh, oh no. I got. Uh, what do you mean you got damp? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I did not approve of it. Wait, I think Which I is the worst good. fan base? Homestuck, Undertale, FNAF, or Minecraft YouTubers? Minecraft YouTubers, because you know what? The other ones fucking suck, but at least we, they're not out there touching children. True. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say uh, all, of, all of them are wrong. League of Legends is the worst. I, I don't think so. I think Undertale actually has a worse fan base. Steven Universe, though, uh, Danielle That's is correct. Pretty... Steven Universe is the worst one, though. That one gets I, weird. You know, you know a community is bad when they bully and harass an artist to the point where they almost end their own life. And when people call them out for it, it's like, oh, no, we didn't bully them because of the way they drew something. We were telling them to do this stuff because they made a uh, an offensive tweet. It's like, that's not better. <laughs> That's not better. Yeah. It's never <laughs> better. No. Oh, God. Well, I've never seen Steven Universe or even, like, interact with their community, so... Oh, God, I don't it's know bad. anything about it. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Uh, I know the I know the Undertale community is very much, uh, like, well-ingrained in meme culture because of Sans, but... Yeah, I, the Undertale community, too, is ass. Um, if you were one of the few YouTubers who did not care for Undertale... Uh, God help you back then. Um, just holy crap. But yeah, uh, anyone got anything to plug or promote this time around or? I still got nothing. <laughs> God, you gotta Not up, really? Gotta up your content creation game there, Nico. I need you Look, to get famous so you can make me famous. Listen, when I get a new like rig and everything set up, Maybe I'll start making Listen, content or something. your Succomatic Fleshlight 9000 can wait. You have <sighs> one of those? Have you joined the Reddit I had, yet? I had it pre-ordered. What now? <laughs> Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'll find this uh, here on Money Tips, No Pervs. Yeah, uh, you'll find uh, you'll find this podcast here on the Twitch channel, but you'll also find it uploaded to the YouTube channel as well. Uh, appreciate you all coming out. Thank you all for stopping by. Hopefully, we will see you all next Saturday. Thanks for showing up, guys. Everybody, take care. That's right. You all did great. Hey. Taylor, you seemed like you were having fun out there. I always have fun. No. <laughs>
<laughs> have pants, a good night, everyone. in pants, having fun. What? 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 I didn't Excuse say me. That was Nico. Carry on. Have a good night, guys. Thank you all. <laughs>